One of the things that I like to do as a hunter is highlight all the conservation successes for all the different species of game, be it upland, wild turkeys, big game, you name it. And there's no better success story than wild turkeys in the lower 48 in Mexico. Simply amazing what the populations of all the subspecies of turkeys have been able to do. This past spring as a way to highlight that conservation success, I went out and I did the North America Turkey Slam in a single spring. So what I did is I started off with Osceola turkeys in Florida, which is hands down one of the toughest turkey hunts you can do just because the subspecies area is so small and the hunting pressure and the predators that they have make them very weary. After that, I went to Texas for Rio. Hunting Texas for Rio is simply amazing. The open desert area and seeing those birds come in from a long distance is something you have to do. After that, we went to western Nebraska where Dad and I had a memorable night in the field to where we both doubled at the same time. That's a memory I'll hold forever. After western Nebraska for Merriam, I made my way to Salt River in Kentucky to where I got an eastern turkey and not only an eastern turkey, a giant eastern turkey. From there, we went down to Sonora to where I went Gould hunting. If you haven't Gould hunted, you have to put this on your list. By far one of the best turkey hunting experiences Gould hunting in Sonora or Chihuahua. If you haven't, look it up, simply amazing. After Gould hunting in Sonora, went to the jungles of the Yucatan to hunt with Balam Outfitters to do a true, true, true jungle hunt for oscillated turkeys. If you haven't done this, you have to look it up. By far one of the most unique and awesome hunting experiences that you can do in North America. And it's just simply amazing. So different than turkey hunting anywhere else. I often get asked, what was my favorite spot that I went turkey hunting this past spring? Or what was the spot that I would go back and do again in an instant? Hands down, jungle hunting oscillated turkeys out of the Yucatan Peninsula, just because it's so different and so unique. five minutes or so before it gets light they start singing you use that noise as your beacon work through the jungle and try to get to where you can get with a shot before they get down off the roofs and then the experience of actually hunting in the jungle staying in tents experiencing the bugs experiencing all the different game birds all the different animals of the jungle just absolutely amazing that would be my number one go back and do again uh, we didn't know if we were going to go out first thing this morning. It rained most of the night, but just stopped about 30 minutes before lights. So we kind of scrambled together, hopping in the Jeep here and heading out to where we were yesterday. See if we can't hear them singing on the roost. So how you hunt oscillated turkeys, instead of calling them in, you're hunting in the jungle. So what you try to do is you try to catch them singing early in the morning. Once you hear them singing in the tree, try to get as close as you can and get a shot before they get out of the roost. Because once they hit the ground cover in the jungle, they are gone. and it hit all of our our foot noise except the problem was he was roosted on a wide open tree couldn't get farther it was a long shot i felt like it was good but he just took off off the roost but he only went a little ways Isolated turkey from the jungle. One of the most memorable hunts that I had this past spring was ghouls hunting in Sonora, Mexico. I tell you what, ghoul hunting are a completely gorgeous bird. The white coloring, completely different from all the other turkey species. The first night we got in the field, we set up, started calling, and it was this big valley, and you could hear the call travel for miles.
wasn't very soon after we started calling, all of a sudden a big long beard came in and he came in tight, working from right to left, and he was coming at about 12 to 15 yards. He's got three beards. What? One, two, three, three. Oh, shit. <laughs> One, two, three, three. Well, that one worked exactly like it was supposed to. It's set up on this field and it's kind of a pinch point along the valley here between where they roost and they kind of go down below where the water's at throughout the day. And this guy, we had a hen come in earlier. This guy didn't make a single sound coming in behind us. And Sergio heard him just a little bit moving there. Swung and got set up and he was coming in tight on where we were at and wasn't gonna make it to the decoys as we were sticking out a little bit too much, but just an absolute gorgeous Goulds in Sonora. And we walk up on him, had no idea, but he's got three beards. I don't even know what to say about that. The most difficult turkey species of doing the slam in a single spring, I hate to admit it, but it's the eastern turkey. By far one of the smartest turkey species, the eastern turkeys is used to a lot of hunting pressure and a lot of predators, and that means they're very, very wary. What I did is I went down with George at Salt River. We only had a limited time before I had to get into the NRA convention. We made it all happen. Well, you know where some birds have been roosting the last couple of days. It's supposed to rain today, so what we're going to do is we're going to pop open a pop-up line right here and then haul it in so we don't have the noise of popping it up. We're going to set up 100, 150 yards away from them. We're in plenty early, pitch dark outside, so we'll have some time once we get set up. Hopefully the rain holds off or it's just a light sprinkle and we catch them. They've been walking this ridge every morning. We're just going to put the blind up there, get a decoy out, see if we can't catch them right off the roof, call them in.
That's how turkey hunting's supposed to be. That's how it's supposed to be done. <laughs> oh, wow. That was a perfect setup. George thought they were roosted over on the side and we never heard them because it was starting to sprinkle this morning. I don't think they gobbled when they Not came down. Once. No, I had four hens come up this hill and about three minutes later, this guy popped out. He was trying to dry himself off and then all of a sudden he saw the decoy set up here and did one fluff up and then it was a straight run in. And wet turkeys are always a little tough to tell how beautiful they are, but a giant beard on them, just gorgeous. Eastern Turkey in Kentucky. By far, one of my favorite stories from the spring was when Dad and I were Merriam hunting in western Nebraska. Wow, we went out one night and we ended up doubling. But what was really crazy is we had four long beards that were coming in and as the sun was starting to go down, we only had a matter of minutes, but they came flying into the call. Dad made a great shot and I followed it up for our first double on turkeys ever in the field. Just doubled. Oh, they smoked. You found where they roost. <laughs> 